yo um i just heard it so i'm i'm still in shock um oh my god i gotta root for the warriors cousins is my favorite player right now yo did they really do that like what how could they do it i I mean, I know it's, I think it's one year, five million or something like that. The Okay, I didn't even say it. Golden State signed Boogie Cousins, okay? Everybody was screaming about them leaving, you know, JaVale McGee, go and whatever. That's why, you know? So now LeBron has the Shaq and the Fool guy and freaking, you know, the Warriors went and upgraded to the best center in, in the league, like, and he is way stronger and way more proficient for what they're going to need him to do, which is what Javel was doing, which is, you know, get him, you know, in the um, uh, on the paint and then just, you know, try to stop or, you know, like not a LeBron stopper, but at least, you know, you contain him with Javel and, you know, in the game. But, um, but Boogie, I mean, I think LeBron's going to stay at the other end of the court for the whole game. I mean, what? What the fuck is happening? What the hell is happening? Poor LeBron. I feel so terrible. Guys, LeBron is done. Guys, LeBron, you know, his era's over. Everybody was saying, which is true. Because you look at 538, there was an article that, you know, after 15 years, you know, in the league, you should just kind of, you know what I mean? Slow down, pack it in kind of thing, because it's just downhill from there. And, and he went against the grain. He's doing great. And he had a chance to you know, try to overcome, you know, that team that's beat him so many times because it's not his era. I mean, it's becoming, and well, it's now definitely, it is the Golden State era. Um, the LeBron era ended 100% in the 2006, after 2016 season. So, you know, uh, the first MVP that Durant got and, you know, that first um, time that they beat the calves um that was when um yeah the end began now the end is more solidified with the second loss and um with Durant and another final MVP for Durant and then to cause injury I, I mean just just even to make it worse they didn't just stop there to make it worse they went and got another piece that could easily get you 40 points a game that could definitely get you like 30 rebounds. I mean, this is the Rodman. This is Dennis Rodman of the NBA. Um, wow. So when was it ever the LeBron era? I mean, the, the, the Jordan era consisted of himself being the best player in the league and his team winning so his team and himself w created the era um lebron i mean he he can't even win 50 percent of his games let alone let alone um 50 percent of uh his rings um i mean he's three and six that's 33 percent um that he wins um i mean this is gonna be now he's not even gonna make it you know to the finals i don't i mean you know what anything could happen you know what i mean let's not panic anything could happen it may look you know whatever he's coming back from an achilles um but yeah i mean i loved rodman so much and um this is my rodman this is the rodman of this era but i am just in shock guys this is unfreaking believable um how could this be legal like but you know what they had to respond because lebron is making all of these moves and they know that it's not over you know what I mean? But you can't get rid of Clay. You can't get rid of Kevin. You can't get rid of um, uh, Steph uh, and Green. I, so, like, one option was only open. And that option, you know, has to be a big because they're going to be replacing, you know, McGee. And, I mean, who ever thought? I thought the Lakers were going to get freaking Cousins. Yo. I don't, let me tell you something. That is genius. That is genius. If you wanted to talk about, you know, maybe, you know, the Golden State is sick and tired of LeBron, you know, changing the narrative and doing what he wants and all this stuff. And, you know, they 
are outplaying him in his game. You know what I mean? It, they're outplaying him in his own game. He created this, and they are just going for the jugular. Like, will they lose a game? I mean, that, that that's really that's not a far fetched question. Um, but the 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 yeah, the answer is yes. They will lose games because um he's coming back from the injury, and there's gonna be you know, some type of, um, adjustment period, um, f but for what they need him, which is just like, you know, just stay in the lane and you know what I mean? He, but he can shoot threes. I mean, he could do, Javel couldn't do any of that. You know what I mean? Like, this is just freaking unbelievable. I guess I am officially a Warriors fan right now. Um, this is unbelievable. Boogie is like, <laughs> I just love Boogie. Um, so Wow. I feel so sorry for LeBron. And, like, like, what do you say? Like, I feel so sorry. I mean, he's really trying hard, trying hard. But, I mean, he gets Javel, they get cousins. It is so ironic. You know what I mean? He was trying to updo him, you know? And I don't know. Guys, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I, I, I have no words. I have no words. I have to give my full reaction. Um... Uh, R.I.P. LeBron James, um, your era is officially over. I mean, it was over, like I said, um, in 2017. But now it's like completely, completely done, you know, done. If there was anything left, not there anymore. But wow. And plus he's in the West. So now he's not. See, that's why I want him to stay in the East, because now, you know, he's not even going to make it, you know, to the finals. And I wanted him, I wanted LeBron to get that record, you know, if he was loyal and if he freaking would have stayed with the Cavs, you know, that was his best shot to do something, you know what I mean? To give them a chance to get somebody else or trade for somebody else. But, but no, I mean, oh my God, this is unfreaking real. Um, I mean, what do I say? There's nothing to say. Uh. This is going to be epic. Uh, I thought the Lakers had a fair shot because of the fact that the Houston Rockets got a little bit less, you know, competitive with, you know, losing a RZA and whatever. So I thought that was an opening for, you know, LeBron and the Lakers. Um, but I mean, honestly, there's there's no shot. There's there's no shot. I mean, I, he'll get them to the playoffs, you know. Um, and you know, if they get lucky, maybe they can get to the Western Conference Finals, but I just don't see anybody of, honestly, even if they get Kawhi, even if they get Kawhi, remember I was doing this yesterday, Paul George doesn't want to play with LeBron. Um, number two, uh, Kawhi, that stays up. Boogie Cousins, nope, doesn't want to play with LeBron and LeBron. And remember I said, LeBron is waiting for these two. So he can go to LA. Well, now it's just one. And the Spurs don't want to give him up because they don't want to, you know, strengthen the competition. So who who's going to be the other superstar? He's back where he started. I mean, I think these pieces are better. But guys, remember this. Remember this. This is exactly how this, this team and how it's composed is exactly what we thought about um, the new Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's see what happens.